Yes, Shakespeare, a bit I've been working on from Shakespeare's Henry V, Act 4, Scene 3, St. Crispin's Day Speech, which I've been practicing, I don't know, a few weeks, two or three weeks. And I've, I posted one, which was right when I had achieved full memory of, of it, but then keep practicing and you you can own it more and more. And I learn how how actors can really, uh, Shakespearean actors, stage actors can really, it really changes how you could perform something when it when you own a piece of material. Now this speech is, is very famous and it was even used in World War II. Um, to inspire troops and uh, warriors. And basically, uh, it's Henry V speaking, speaking to his cousin, Westmoreland, who is talking about that they could have more, that he wished they could have more men to help fight because they were outnumbered in this fight, the English against the French. This is a historical play. What's he that wishes so, my cousin Westmoreland? No, my fair cousin, if we are marked to die, we are now to do our country loss, and if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor, God's will. I pray thee, wish not one man more. By Jove, I am not covetous for gold, nor care I who doth feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. No faith, my cuz, wish not a man from England, God's peace. I would not lose so great an honor as one man more, methinks, would share for me for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather more claim it, Westmoreland, through my host, that he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when the day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian, he that shall live this day and see old age, will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, tomorrow is St. Crispian. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth, as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups, freshly remembered. This story shall the good man tell his son, and Crispin Crispian shall never go by from this day till the ending of the world but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he never so vile. This day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, shall think themselves accursed. They were not here and hold their manhoods cheap whiles any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day. You know your places. God be with you all. Good one, I think. Pretty good. <laughs>